Hello, how are you doing? This is Ranjit and in this uh, video, I'm going to talk about uh, how do I run this channel and how many smartphones do I own? And it's been over six and a half years since I've been running this uh, YouTube channel. And I get this comment very often, almost in every other video. How do I run this channel? And people think that I have hundreds and hundreds of smartphones that are lying with me. And there are a lot of misconceptions. I want to clear that in this video. So let's talk about that. Uh, I'll also talk about review on it, why I don't do giveaways. So it can be a little bit long, but stay uh, tuned. So so first let's talk about uh, what do you say review units I had already made a video about review units why you might not get a review unit or why you might get a review unit. I only started getting review units after about uh, three three and a half years of uh, doing YouTube but now the situation is a lot better again check out the video that I posted almost two years ago the same thing applies as of now still the uh, main issue is that uh, generally if uh, I write to the companies they don't send you review units but the company generally automatically approach you after you reach a certain level and you get review on it <laughs> it still happens with me for example i purchased the lg g6 only after i purchased the lg g6 lg sent me the review on it yeah it's a mess so uh, again uh, about review units check out the old video that i posted now about how do i run this uh, youtube uh, channel uh, again uh, as i run this youtube channel you see i have to buy a lot of gadgets because i'm a person who does not like to talk about devices and products without testing them physically and having it in my hand there are other channels who talk about products without uh, having them and giving the verdict i don't like to do that so i have to purchase a lot of products yes uh, these days i'm getting a lot of review units so that helps but again still i have to purchase quite a few of the products and uh, smartphones and i treat them as what do you say raw material for my production and uh, generally uh, when i finish my review and testing after a month or so i uh, sell those phones to get new buy new devices that's how i do that is one of the main reasons that i don't like to do giveaway because i feel with the giveaway and stuff i can make one person happy but uh, uh, with the review a lot of people ask me to do reviews for a particular device and by uh, setting that amount uh, set uh, aside i can review a lot more uh, gadgets and again with giveaways you just get fake subscribers i would like to have uh, genuine subscribers who subscribe for the real content that's the main reasons i don't do give away and regarding devices it's very funny and this is a little secret that i'm going to give it out to you and this might apply only to india and generally uh, i would say reviewing any flagship sort of a product is still a big loss to me even at this stage but generally uh, see uh, these flagship smartphones, for example, from HTC, Sony, etc. These days they are priced at around 55,000. For example, let's take the uh, example of the LG G6. It was priced at 52,000 when it was launched. And generally, if you uh, see us or other reviews also, we have to get the devices on the first day. Otherwise, it's no point getting the device. So we have to pay uh, if you're buying at uh, the MRP price. Sir. And uh, for example, the LG uh, G6 was priced at 52,000. And now if you see the pricing after not even a month, it's around 41 42,000 so the price falls down and after a month or so you do the review finish the review want to go and sell it <laughs> you don't get good uh, resale value. And specifically, this is uh, very true for LG phones here in India, Sony phones here in India. If you recall, I used to buy a lot of uh, devices from Faisal Communications earlier. And a uh, couple of years ago, he told me, you're buying this LG or a Sony phone plus, but uh, bhai, just don't come to me for reselling it because you just don't get any resale value. So it can be a big loss for flagship devices. For example, you might buy a flagship device for 55,000. After you finish your review, everything after let's say about a month or 40 days you want to go and sell it out if the brand is not very popular it's happening a lot with uh, lg phones sony and now even htc phones uh, you'll be lucky to get uh, even uh, 30 or 35 thousand rupees so you take a huge chunk of loss for flagship devices uh, and uh, generally with mid-range phones the situation is not that bad for example let's uh, let me give you a practical example uh, uh, let's say you have the moto uh, g5 plus that was for about 15,000 the base variant after the review after a month or so I can easily sell that phone for 11,000 so I'm taking a loss of just around 4,000 per device for a mid-range I'm just giving you a very average 
you can sell it for sometimes for 12,000, uh, 11,000. So you take a loss of about three or 4,000 for a mid-range device. Uh, again, look at the flagship. There you take a loss of about 20 to 25,000. So you can pack in almost about four devices uh, if you are reviewing mid-range device. And one more secret in India specifically, mid-range uh, devices uh, do a lot better in terms of views compared to flagship devices. And uh, YouTube uh, doesn't pay you on the basis of how many subscribers you have but the amount of views that you're going to get to the video so in india specifically reviewing mid-range phones makes a lot more sense than flagships hence yes some popular flagship phones are safe bet for example samsung uh, flagship phones are in very popular demand so uh, you can get away with that easily and even apple uh, iphones uh, actually the resale value on uh, apple iphones is actually very good hence if you even buy i generally uh, for example the iphone 7 i did that you buy it even on the first year at full price you can sell it after a month for not a lot of what you say loss so again uh, with iphone and samsung's flagships uh, it works out and again regarding the choices of device you know that these days many smartphones get launched in a month at least about four or five smartphones get launched in india and uh, I have to be actually very selective about what devices I'm going to review on my channel. So first thing that I look at is, uh, uh, this is a huge chunk in my percentage, if I will review a device or not, is uh, how many people are asking about that particular device. Then second thing I look at is, I check the specs of the device, do my internal analysis, is this a decent device for a given price range or not? That is also one thing that I take into account. And third thing is the availability. Another thing these days is that, if a manufacturer sometimes uh, uh, these manufacturers are doing us this they have recently started doing this in india they send us rev uh, units review units before the launch of the device so we get enough time to uh, shoot the video and uh, stuff like that so if a brand is doing that then also i give them a slight preference but biggest criteria for me is how many users are asking for a particular device uh, that's why some of the devices that you that is the reason you might see that uh, I ignore some of the devices because it simply does not make any sense uh, if just let's say a 2-3% of the user base is asking for a particular product to be reviewed. I have limited time. I've realistically uh, uh, seen that I can review just about three odd smartphones in a given month. So that is how I go about selecting the devices to review or not. And certainly in India, uh, I would say still at even my stage, reviewing a flagship device, if you're going to buy it and review, uh, you will take definitely a loss. And uh, regarding how many smartphones do I own? I personally actually do not own a lot of smartphones. I do have some smartphones. You have to buy a few. For example, I try to purchase important smartphones in a particular price segment. For example, last year, it was the Redmi Note 3 because at that price point, it was a very strong smartphone. And I kept it because uh, uh, future smartphones that might be coming in that price range, I can compare with that. Again, uh, that was the same case even with the OnePlus. Uh, three i felt it was a very strong player in that price point uh, so i kept that and uh, even i got the google pixel i purchased it and i am still having that the reason is that it's a google phone so you get the latest android updates and the camera performance was actually very good so i still compare the google pixel with some other devices that are launching so yes i do uh, purchase uh, some of the devices and retain them but uh, generally i don't retain a lot of devices and i just have about uh, four devices that I have personally with uh, me so I don't have hundreds and hundreds of smartphones that's a total misconception uh, that you have and regarding review units uh, the review units that we get um, they go back to the company after some time it depends from company to company some companies pick it back after three or four weeks some pick it up a pack after two months three months so the again there is no set uh, time frame when the review unit gets uh, picked back generally it's about three to four weeks and uh, some of you when you guys asked me to do a re-review of a product after let's say four five months i might uh, simply not have that product so guys uh, i hope uh, this uh, video was helpful and it clears some of the uh, misconceptions that you guys might have about how i run this youtube channel and how many smartphones uh, do i have i have to also purchase smartphones like you guys for my personal use so guys uh, that's it for now for this video and if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video